Hello, this is Steve again with Green Tunes Performance, showing you uh, different tunes that you can make to your vehicle to get better economy. Um, we're getting ready to install um, a Green Fuel H2O 19 plate dry cell HHO generator with um, with their 40 amp continuous uh, current or constant current um, PWM. So I can call it an advanced PWM. So um, because I put on a cold air intake uh, after being recommended to do so by Volo uh, Performance, um, I already installed the uh, FS2 uh, HHO Performance chip by Volo Performance. Uh, which is recommended by many HHO uh, generator manufacturers. So, one of the recommendations that Volo made was to make sure you have all the air you can get going to your engine. So I did that. I custom built a Spectra uh, cold air intake, and uh, I built I built my own. Uh, Heat box here to keep the heat away, heat from the engine, away from the intake. I wrapped the tubing to keep heat out of the tubing, and then I wrapped the throttle body with um, header uh, wrap, sort of like a fiberglass wrap. This uh, synthetic heat barrier. It does get warm, but um, it's not near as quick to get hot or it doesn't transfer as much heat as the straight metal so that's I think that's an improvement and I've upgraded my ignition and put a voltage stabilizer on it so now the question is how many amps can my stock alternator deliver to the HHO generator um, without needing to upgrade my alternator they claim that the 19 amp or 19 plate uh, HHO generator from Greenfields H2O um, draws up to 45 amps and it produces up to 3 liters per minute which is supposed to be enough for a 3 liter uh, all the way up to a 5 liter engine. This is a 3 liter V6. So because I put on the cold air intake uh, I have some room over here where I could possibly put the um, the the uh, reservoir and then for the for the electrolyte and then I'm thinking about putting the um, the actual cell itself down here in front of the radiator to get cooling but I'm not sure if that'll work uh, I might have to figure out a place to put it down lower uh, so anyway um, that's where I'm at at the moment it might be uh, there might be some other things to consider here maybe relocating my radiator overfill now I have some more room to possibly relocate that I'm not really sure so the installation is supposed to uh, uh, be aided by a video so I'm looking forward to watching that um, the unit should be here before the end of this coming week so today's Sunday 10 14 and 2012 and we're getting about 15 miles per gallon on the highway the last time I checked it so I'm looking forward to seeing up to possibly 21 according to uh, their average improvements that they state on their website they're saying 30 25 to 60 percent somewhere in there most people get about 35 percent so anyway 20 miles per gallon would be great uh, from 15. I would be really happy with that. So stay tuned. Check back for our next video. Later.